MTN Sports Grace Lawrence here at Belgrade High School and during their homecoming football game a couple of weeks ago they unveiled a new state-of-the-art Daktronic scoreboard and the story behind it well it truly took a village to put this together. It was an idea that garnered some movement behind it about three years ago but was quickly tabled due to how much it would cost. Our school was a little worried that they didn't want to put this bill on on the taxpayers which is 100% right. So they said, you know, find a way to fund it without having to use taxpayer money, and, and then we, here we are. How they found a way? Fred Cornforth, a Belgrade High School graduate from the class of 1978 who put forth $200,000 to fund the new video board. He asked me, do you have a project that I can help out with um, financially? I want to give back to my school that, you know, made me the man I am. And I said, do I? I sure do have a project. For an athletic director, it's a level of generosity you don't come by every day. Because of Cornforth, this project went from three years to 30 minutes. And originally, he wanted to stay anonymous, but he did eventually come forward as the donor. He also didn't want his name on it. Instead, it commemorates Bill Green, his former football coach and athletic director at Belgrade. Green was a local legend when it came to the game. He coached the Panthers to three state title appearances and won it all back to back in 1977 and 78. It's like a dream come true. It's kind of like when you think about what am I going to do with the lottery when I when I get it? Am I going to buy a house? Am I going to buy a boat? Here it was, you know, gosh, if we only had someone that would want to step up and help us pay for something, that'd be great, and there it was. Their old scoreboard still resides on the opposite end of the field, something the school knew they wanted to preserve when finding a home for the new video board. Um, we didn't want that to get, you know, pulled out. There's a lot of history, history and heritage that comes with that. And so we thought, you know, if we have them on opposing corners, we could still utilize both uh, throughout the, the game. And to put in this piece of equipment, well, it took an effort from the entire community. The total cost to install would have been $80,000, an amount donated by their sponsors, down to the paint. And they did it in just two months. All of the uh, sponsors that you see rolling around on the board up here, uh, that's how we honor them. They came out and they stepped up. Um, you know, we had 37 foot beams that go 17 feet in the ground. So they came out and they did it all. Rocky Mountain Electric came and wired everything in. We had painters donate their time. Just on and on and on of our community. It got to a point where I thought I was dreaming. In Belgrade, Grace Lawrence, MTN Sports.